Hello June, hello Kevin, Santi Caramel here. Hello Ariane, I'm not sure if the words are too big, but it's a really cute picture book. And we've got our buddy Buddy here. He is asleep. He is our golden tabby. Excuse my nail polish, my, man my manicure hasn't arrived. There we go. All right, and here we have a famous New Zealand author called Lindley Dodd and Slinky Malinky's Cat Tales. So today we're going to read... Oh, got to go to the index first so we know where we are. Contents. Slinky Malinky. There he is. Look, he's lovely, isn't he? Look at those words. Slinky Malinky. Slinky Malinky was blacker than black. A stalking and lurking adventurous cat. He had bright yellow eyes, a warbling wail, and a kink at the end of his very long tail. Can you see the kink? Look at that. Oh, slinky. He was cheeky and cheerful, friendly and fun. He'd chase after leaves and he'd roll in the sun. Oh, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Mm. I want to do that one day. Meow. <laughs> but at night he was wicked and fiendish and sly. Through moonlight and shadow he'd prowl and he'd pry. Meow. He crept along fences, he leaped over walls, poked into corners and sneaked into halls. What was he up to? At night, to be brief, Slinky Maliki turned into a thief! <sighs> Naughty Slinky Malinky. All over town, from basket and bowl, he pilfered and pillaged, he snitched and he stole. Slippers and sausages, biscuits, balloons, brushes and bandages, pencils and spoons. Oh, oh boy. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them until he carried them home to his house on the hill. Oh, that's how he got them home. That's a really one of those things. Oh, one rascally night between midnight and four, Slinky Malinky stole more than before. Some pigs and a teddy bear dressed up in lace. A gardening glove from a Cathy's place. Slinky. A tatty old sneaker. A smelly old sock. What do you want with that? And Jennifer Turkington's pottery smock. Oh my goodness, what are you going to wear to art class tomorrow? A squishy banana, some glue and a pen, a cushion from Oliver Tulliver's den. Ooh, this nice yellow pattern on it. <laughs> a clock and some bottles, a pair of blue jeans, a half knitted jersey, a packet of beans. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them until he carried them home to his house on the hill. <laughs> then Slinky Malinky's wrapped scallion cat. Plied them, piled them up high in a heap on the mat. At least he was tidy. The glue toppled over and gummed up the pegs. The juicy unravelled and tangled his legs. He tripped on the bottles wow. and slipped on the sock. He tipped over sideways and set off the clock. Wow. No. Oh, I can read upside down like I used to spy on in baskets in my manager's office when I was working at the B&Z. <gasps> Big black tower. Whoops, back to the story. Crash went the bottles. Me beep went the clock. Row, row, row went the dogs on the block. On went the lights. Bang went the door. And out came the family. One, two, three, four. Oh no, they all said. What a criminal cat. Tomorrow we'll have to take everything back. With a tangled up middle and oh, glue wow. on his face, Slinky Malinky was deep in disgrace. Never again did he answer the call when the moon shadows danced over garden and wall. When whispers of wickedness stirred up in his head, he adjusted his whiskers and stayed home instead. Wow. Stop.